So in this lesson, we're gonna look at defense from a bar stool. Now, I kind of seen this working in bars where people just pick up anything and either throw it to you, swing it at you. Principle is pretty much the same. So if I'm faced with my attacker and he's talking to me, and suddenly I see him, he's going to pick up the bar stool and he's doing this. And I, and, and I see him do this already, I, would, I wouldn't even wait for him to pick it up. Right now, my instinct would be, come in. Now, obviously, in, in, in much of you know, my system and what I teach, and it's counterintuitive to move in, yet it's safer, our instinct is to move back. But what we want to do is move in. Obviously, you want to crash into your attacker. The principle is the same. Now, if I saw him and he picked up the bar stool, and I see him about to start swinging it, I'm going to step in again. Same, it's the same block. I don't want to give, show you guys 15 blocks for 15 defenses. My hands come up, I tuck in my head, the blade of my forearms crash, and I'm basically covering my face. That even if it went somewhere like here, I'm gonna at least cover my face and not go in with my hands down, but my hands up, my head tucked in, and I want to crash into it. Once I'm inside, the principle is you want to grab and trap Trap it, Swing. go again, John, slowly. I'm here, boom, I'm here. I'm gonna grab, once I'm here, fight, John. I'm here, I'm gonna start using it. And if I could, I'll use it against him. Right now, you know what I would do? Boom, I'd start using it against him. Now, if it starts becoming a weapon that's hard for me to hold, to maneuver, I'm, I'm gonna use it to my favor to crash into him, but from there, I'm gonna let go, I'm gonna throw my strikes, and I'm gonna use the weapon more to use it as leverage to strike him. Again, very important that when you're trapping the weapon, don't forget about everything else. Don't get emotionally attached to, oh, just a weapon. If he's holding it, what is our two, his two hands are doing, they're holding the weapon, which means I can palm strike, I can elbow, I can use my knees, I can use the weapon to smack him into it, I can use it as well as just a pressure point right now, I just jammed it into his, into his ribs. So, again, the principle is the same when you're looking at all the weapons. What you wanna focus on is awareness. If I see him shifting his weight, getting up, He's going to the bar stool. He's looking at me. Your options are two. One, I bridge the gap and I come in, or I create more distance to get out where he might need to like be a lot more telegraphic, where I might have a chance to pick up an improvised weapon to throw, where I might be able to get a bar stool as an equalizer, or maybe again, you have security, you have people around that might intervene. Again, those split seconds make an entire difference, especially in this environment. So I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you next time.